Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Tadashimori and today I will teach you how to make this origami dragon. This origami is not complex, so you can make it using a printer paper. And the printer paper is good enough for you to practice before using a better paper or even smaller papers. And before we start, I'd like to thank my new members. The Angel members Nikita Favela and Enrique Wojciechowski, the new friends Vijay Kant and Matthew Denton, and Raquel Yumi, Mads Amil Show, and Anantonori for renewing their membership. Isso aí, tamo junto, let's start. Start by folding and unfolding the paper along the diagonal. Now fold along the other diagonal. And hold the paper like this. Fold both sides along this line. And fold both flaps upward. Now unfold both flaps. Now fold along these lines. Now make these two folds parallel to the side of the paper, and to do it, pay close attention to the reference points. Now fold and unfold along this line. For the next fold, you're going to use the folds we just made as a reference and make a vertical fold. Now fold only one layer upward, and this fold will help as a reference for the origami to be symmetrical later. Now unfold this flap. And you're going to do the same fold on the left side. Now, using the same reference points, fold only one layer upward. Now, turn the model over, and still using the same reference points, you are going to fold one layer downwards. Now, fold and unfold along these lines. Mm -hmm. 
and make an inside reverse fold along the line we just made. The model will look like this. And if you're not used to making this kind of folds, we're going to do it slowly. You just have to reverse all the folds we just made. So, open the model a little bit, and you're going to make mountain folds along these lines. And then you close the model. Now you're going to do the same thing here on the other side. Now fold one flap to the left. Fold and unfold along this line. Now we are going to make an open sink fold. Again, if you are not used to making these kind of folds, I will show it step by step. But the idea is the same, you just have to reverse fold along the lines we just made. So open the model a little bit and make mountain folds along these lines. Now fold only one flap to the left along the indicated line and the model will not lie flat. This fold is just to open the model a little bit so we can work in the middle part. Now fold and unfold along this line. And make this fold spreading the layers in the middle. The model will look like this. Now close the layers so we can go to the next step. Ok, for the next fold, you need to make all these folds at the same time and the model will look like this. I know it looks overwhelming, but we are going to make it slowly. So first, we are going to start by making these three folds. Fold the front layer a little bit to the right, then fold the tip upward And before you finish the fold, open the model a little bit and complete making these other two folds. And we finished making that step. Now you are going to fold the front flap downward like this. And you are going to open this flap. The model will look like this. Now make an inside reverse along this line. Fold this flap to the right. Now, turn the model over and we are going to do the same thing to the other side. So, let me show you again. You are going to make this fold. So, start by folding the top layer 
to the right, then the tip, upward, and then you finish by making these two remaining lines. Now, fold the front flap downwards. Open the front flap. And inside reverse this tip. Now fold one layer to the left and we are going to do the same thing here on the other side. I will show all the steps again but this time a little bit faster. So fold this flap to the left. Now fold and unfold along this line. Now open sync along the fold we just made. Fold the front flap to the left. Fold and unfold along this line. Now, open one flap and spread the layers. and close the layers. Now again, you're going to make this fold. Start by folding the front flap to the right, making these three folds first, and then the remaining two folds. Fold the front flap downwards, and open this layer. Now make an inside reverse fold on this flap. And fold this layer to the right. Turn the model over again. And we are going to do the same thing here. So one last time, start by the three folds on the top part and then you pull and make the other two folds. Fold this flap downwards and open this flap. Now inside reverse this flap. Now fold this layer to the left Now you're going to fold the top flap downwards and the reference line is inside the model So fold all the way downwards like this Now you're going to fold the back layer upwards Now make these two mountain folds in the middle of these parallel lines.
and bake this food on the front layer. So, open the model a little bit and you're going to do the same thing on all the four tips. And the model will look like this. Now looking at the inside of the model, you're going to make these three folds. And the result will look like this. So, to do this fold, start by folding both sides. And then you fold the middle layer up to the middle line. Right. Now, you're going to do the same thing, but in the other direction. And do it one more time, so you can finish narrowing the tips. Now, do the same thing here on the other side. Alright, now turn the model over, unfold this top layer, and fold along these lines, making a zigzag on the whole model. Hold the model in this position and fold and unfold along this line. Now you're going to inside the reverse fold along this line. And the model will look like this. This time I won't show you slowly, but I think you got the hang of it already, right? You just have to open the model and reverse fold along the lines we just made. So, it's going to look like this. Now, inside reverse along these lines. Turn the model over. And do the same thing here to the other side. Okay, now you're going to fold these two flaps downwards. And do the same thing here on the other side. Now you're going to open the model by folding the back layer to the right. And open this front flap.
Now open this small flap. Okay, now let's zoom in a little bit just to make it easier to see the details. And here you're going to make a petal fold. And the model will look like this. Now you're going to fold this front flap downwards. And you're going to fold one layer to the left. Now you're going to do the same thing here on the other layer. So again, you're going to open the flap and make a petal fold. Fold this front layer downwards and then fold one flap to the right. Now you're going to fold this bottom flap upward and you're going to fold these two flaps upwards. Now, fold and unfold along this line. And again, you're going to make an open sink fold here. So, open the model a little bit and reverse the fold we just made. Okay, now you're going to do the same thing here on the other side. So, fold and unfold. And make an open sink fold. Now, fold these two flaps downwards. Also fold these two small flaps downwards. And you're going to make these small folds only in the front layer. Now fold the whole model in half and you're going to make these two small folds to point the head downwards and the model will look like this. Here, you're going to fold only the front layer along this line. And fold the next layer to inside along this line. Now repeat these steps on the other side.
Now you're going to fold both wings forward. And when you make this fold, the inner layer will get folded together. But it's okay because later we are going to fix this. Now let's fold the tail of the dragon. And start by making these two folds. And do the same thing here on the next layer. Now you're going to make a mountain fold in this whole pack of layers to inside. And do the same thing here, folding the remaining layers to inside. Now repeat on the other side. And that's it, the tail will look like this. Now fold both wings backward. And the next step is going to be a little bit tricky, so pay close attention. You're going to make this fold, but only on half of the layers in the wing. So I'll show you. You have to open here the wing a little bit. And you're going to hold here half of the layers. And you're going to fold like this. But at this moment, the model will not lie flat. So look at the inner part of the wings, and you're going to make a fold in the remaining layers. The fold is a straight line, but here it looks like a curve because of the paper. And the model will look like this. That's it, now you're going to do the same thing to the other wing. So, just to remind you, fold half of the layers upward, and then fold the remaining layers. Now, you're going to open the model in half again, And you're going to make these two parallel folds. Now carefully close the model. And you're going to pull the neck upward. Now we are going to untrap the flap behind the wing and you are going to insert this flap in the middle of the layers of the wing. Now make this fold to finish the wings.
and do the same thing here on the other wing. So untrap this flap, insert in the middle of the layers of the wing, and make a fold downward. And like this, the wing is done. Now let's work on the dragon's head. So first you're going to fold the inner layer downwards to make the mouth and the model will look like this. So carefully pull one layer and fold it downwards. Now you're going to fold both flaps like this to close the mouth. Now make a small rabbit ear fold to make the ears. So the fold is going to be like this. You just have to pinch the middle and the ear will go forward. Now do the same thing on the other side. Now, for the horns, you're going to do the same thing, but in the other direction. Repeat on the other side. And finally, the dragon is done. So, I know that you can add more details to this origami, and I didn't add too much details. So, for example, you can make small modifications like making a curve here on the tails and a curve on the wings. But those are simple modifications, and I'm curious of what else you can do. So, don't forget to tag me on Instagram so I can see the results of your folds. And of course, if you liked this video, please do not forget to click on the like button and to subscribe to my channel, it helps me a lot. And as always, don't forget to be good to the others and to yourself. Thanks for watching this video, see you, bye bye.